Wow. Look at all the people, Ted. Let me talk. This is so nerve-wracking. I don't know how much more of this I can take. I've never seen this many people in one place ever before. Not even in the school cafeteria. And they're all here to witness me. Oh, Jock. Oh, no. Okay, I had too much water earlier. Just hold it in. Please, for the love of dog. I can't hold it. <gasps> oh, my dog. Oh, my lord. Huh? You. That's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't see that coming. I think we better step off the stage. Yeah. Everyone, go backstage again. Hey, loser, where are those ugly clothes? <laughs> what is wrong with you, Rose? I just wanted to perform this stupid play and get it over with. And you felt the need to switch my clothes out? Why? Because you're a loser. And as you may know, my victims are always losers. Our victims were always losers too, but now that you're done with bullying, I guess I'm on my own, huh? I texted Cosmo the news earlier, and he's really disappointed in your actions. Oh, come on. I've been done with bullying ever since, well, for as long as I can remember. And you found out a week ago. It's about time to get over it. Get over what? What is there to get over? I'm just living my life like a normal short hair. Simply bullying you because, well, you deserve it. Well, sorry your leader isn't part of your group anymore, Rose. <laughs> leader? You're not my leader anymore, Cindy. I know, because I left and you can't get over yourself. So you're choosing to bully me of all losers, so yes, there is something you need to get over. Your leader. I'm going back inside. I'm not done with you, you know. Well, I'm done with you, and that's all that matters. So, you want to play hard to get, huh? Karma for talking smack. You mean, defending myself? What in the heck is the difference? Anyways, loser. I think you have something to get over, too. And that's me. Oh, please. I am over you. 
Then why'd you run off the stage crying like a little baby? Because of the clothes. You could not handle such an ugly outfit. No? Yes, you can't handle me and my genius schemes against you. And your little <laughs> friend, Kimberly. Shut up. We're not really friends anymore. Because she won't forgive Herb. Oh, you mean the one I was trying to help you get? But he's still not your boyfriend. A shame it is. But honestly, I couldn't really care less about your love life. Or even you, for that matter. <laughs> for dog's sake, Cindy, I ran off the stage because I peed myself. Didn't you see it since you were apparently out in the auditorium instead of at the spa, like Julie told me? Oh, honey, I ditched that joint. I wanted to see this whole bad boy play out. After all, you do deserve humiliation and embarrassment. <laughs> Dog, you are such a messed up monster. Coming from the one who is coming up with plans against me? What are you talking about? I think it's more like the other way around, Rose, and you just proved that to me. Oh, don't even act like you don't know, sweetums. You and Kimberly talking about... I don't know, screwing up my appointments at the spa? Wait, what? Just coming up with a few schemes against me for karma or something. Hmm. Oh well. I guess you don't remember the little discussion you had with your friend. But I certainly do. And I certainly hope I don't have to remember any other. She was at the spa. How did she? hear us because she was never ever at the spa she was always watching us she's probably watching me talk to myself right now embarrassing what do you know i've been friends with not only a bully but a crazy stalker all my life i think kimberly and i are going to have to be a bit more careful <laughs>